This is my Sister Wives update for February 2024. Let's catch up with Mary, Christine, Janelle, and Robin and Cody. And yes, I understand that I sound terrible. Let's start with the best funny Sister Wives themed Valentine I found on Reddit. It's just the best. It says, I'll kiss you while my wife's in labor. Just an amazing season one reference. I thought this was funny. So this month, Mary's new man disappeared. McKelty goes to the ER. Christine has a new Airbnb and people think Robin and Cody are done. Janelle celebrated not Valentine's Day, but Galentine's Day this year with her friends and Savannah. As we know, Janelle is not racing to the altar with a new man anytime soon. She's actually fine being single, and she had actually told people that Cody coming over had become a burden for her. She had told them, Life is simpler because what would happen is Cody would come because he was very good about sticking to his schedule, but it was this whole upheaval of my routine in my life and where there wasn't a whole lot of connection emotionally. It just felt like a burden, she shared. And now I go to bed when I want, I eat what I want for dinner. So Janelle is Miss Independent here. On February 9th, Hunter celebrated his 27th birthday. Janelle gave him a shout out and said that he would always cry when she scolded him. And he said on his Instagram, cheers to another year and a reminder to not take yourself too seriously. Thank you to all my friends and family who helped make this year one hell of a party. Hunter is awesome, I think we can all agree. Josephine, Maddie's daughter, so Janelle's granddaughter, turned one on February 10th. She is almost birthday twins with Hunter, which is probably a good thing, honestly. Janelle has also been reading and has recommendations, and I don't know why, but they're super Christmas themed for some reason. It's kind of crazy. Janelle is still in the Hallmark Christmas phase, guys, I think. Christine hosted her annual Super Bowl party. It included David and some of his family. Isabel was there, McKelty was there, and Tony and their kids, and even Peyton, a rare appearance by Peyton. McKelty commented on the pictures and said that these really show natural love. They are quite candid and still good. Christina had said, just some candid photos of our Super Bowl crowd today. I can't believe it's been a year since David and I hosted last year's party. I'm definitely hashtag Team David. Oh my gosh. How much more obsessed can Christine be with David? I mean, she should be. She just married him. But I just need to adjust to this, you know, Christine vibe, I think. And aside from McKelty's kids making toddler messes <laughs> that she shows on Instagram, I think it's baby powder here. McKelty had to be rushed to the hospital by Tony on Super Bowl Sunday because she was having intense pain in her jaw area and it ended up being caused by nerve damage from her teeth. So she had to have two root canals immediately to fix everything up. She's better now, but not exactly the best Super Bowl Sunday you can ask for. Christine and David also launched their new business, an Airbnb in Moab, Utah, where they got married. They must have a soft spot for that place. Someone else clearly manages it, of course, but they own it. And the description says that you can look at articles and peruse family photos when you're there. So this is a full on sister wives fan destination. Overall, it's a cute place. I like how they decorated. It's simple, but chic. It'll cost you around $200 a night if you're curious to stay there, which is on par with hotels, honestly. So, hey, if you're in Mo, Mary and Christine now have kind of investment properties now, so go figure. But unfortunately, these two are no longer friends. We know that. Christine admitted that she told Mary that she's ending their friendship because she doesn't trust her about what or over what is very cryptic. But like with Janelle, seems like a lot happened behind the scenes before the show happened. There's something about Mary. And speaking of Mary, ever since the big hoopla with her new boyfriend Amos last month, the Q&A, the constant kind of showcasing him, announcing him to the world, being Mary's new beau and how like all the blogs were uncovering things and looking for documents. 
It was crazy. Well, I mean, Mary kind of insinuated that he may have been scared off because he just disappeared off the face of the earth. I don't think anyone's talked about him. He's just kind of like MIA, you know? And she didn't really mention on her live what she did for Valentine's Day, if she spent time with him, etc. She did not get into it. So honestly, could they have already broken up? I just think maybe he couldn't handle the heat. Mary was also randomly in Flagstaff and she posted about it on Instagram. And I was immediately thinking, she's there to film. She's there to film with Robin and Cody. It has to be. I wonder what they could have filmed about at this point. Like, has everything been said? Like, I think everything is done there, no? Like, what are they gonna do? Anyways, she turned her being stuck into a post about having to pivot and how it can be a positive thing. She had said, all roads lead to, well, nowhere for me today, stranded in Flagstaff in the middle of a massive snowstorm. Roads to Utah, Phoenix, and Vegas have been closed, and if they're open, there's been tons of accidents, and frankly, I'm just not interested in fighting that. My plans were to head to Vegas today, but with the interstate that direction closed, I've stayed here and spent the day working on businesses, planning meetings, writing, researching, and of course, photo sessions with Ms. Zona. Sometimes life just calls for a pivot or a pause, and today I've taken advantage of both. I also, you know, heard something sad on her live with Jen. She had said that people keep asking her about Mosby, who is Leon's dog that she was constantly with before, and she kind of said that she doesn't see him that much, kind of inferring that she doesn't see Leon that much anymore, which is weird. Leon has been living life lately with Audrey, and many fans are commenting about how they look like Hunter now. What do you think about this picture? Does that look like Hunter? I mean, there's a resemblance for sure. The genes are strong over there. As for Cody and Robin, well, there's been a lot of speculation this month about if their relationship is falling apart, basically, just based on how they were interacting in what was called the talkback. And McKelsey did say that she thinks they're depressed and need help on Patreon, so that didn't help. People are actually Googling, are Robin and Cody still together? So who knows what's going to happen? I feel like they probably feel stuck with each other at the very least, but also they're soulmates, they say. But there are signs that things are not well with Robin and Cody. I guess they're adjusting to monogamy now, and it's probably a big adjustment. All right, guys, thanks so much for listening the whole way through. Sorry I'm sick, <laughs> and I will talk to you soon. Bye, guys.